What's up guys? In this video, I'm going to teach you and I'm going to show you how to generate data for training an AI. So first of all, remember that this is a video in which I'm teaching you how to do something like this is not the best uh, way to create a trading bot with artificial intelligence. This is just a, a small approach, like you can do things way better than the way I'm doing them. So yeah, how am I, how am I doing this? So as you remember, uh, in the second video, I think I told you that with MetaTrader, you can download a lot of data about the market. So for example, here I have five years of the, <laughs> of the market of the euro dollar. Yeah, but for example, here I have a small, a small file which is used to do tests. So here, for example, I have this one, which is just one week. And what I do first is that I parse the data. What I mean with parsing is that, for example, I don't want this in this format. Like I don't want to have this in this format. I would like to have this in the UTC, UTC format and then just one one value like I don't care if I have the bit or the ask I just want one so what I do is that I parse the data so here there's a file in which I have parsed the data so parsing is just for making things more comfortable for me so if we check the parsing script that I have here is this one you can see that basically what I'm doing is, hey, I have a file name, I have another file name, which is the name of the file where I'm going to store the, the save file. And then what I'm basically doing here is that I'm taking the time and I'm trans transforming that time into, into UTC and then taking just one of the values. So you see here that in the second file, in the save file, I'm storing the date and then the the price pretty simple in the second file in the backtester file what i'm doing is that i'm simulating like it's not a perfect simulation but i'm simulating the trading so here what i'm basically doing is that i'm i load first the file well i don't load the file i will talk about this later what I do is that first I take the file in which I have the time and the prices and then what I basically do is that I move through that file in a way that I can simulate for example the indicators that I had and yeah taking the values. So what I do is that hey whenever in real life we would open an operation we are going to open it here and what we are going to do if we open an operation is that we are going to store all the values that we we used for that. So for example, here, if I go here to check by, well, check by is the function that I use to check if I have to open or not the operation. But here, what I do is that I get the result of the buy. So if we go here, we have that, yeah, if the price reach, reached the goal price, the operation will have a success, will be a success. But if it reaches the fail price, the operation will not be a success. So you can see here that I store the type of the operation, uh, if I get profit or not, and if it's successful or not. But this is not enough for an artificial intelligence to train it. So here, for example, what I do is that I also store the value of the indicators. One thing I'm doing wrong is that I'm not storing these values, the MACD and the RSI. I should also store those values and train the artificial intelligence with those values as well. Like I forgot to put them and that's it. But yeah, now in the dictionary that I was returning in the previous function, here I was returning this, in this dictionary what I'm doing is that I'm adding those values so whenever we train the AI we can classify the successful and the failed operation with this attribute. So yeah, that's basically it. I don't want to make this any longer, but that's basically what I'm doing. But one thing that I'm doing wrong is that I'm not adding those attributes, like I have to add more attributes. Those values are very important. And also the algorithm here is pretty bad. Why is it bad? Because here what I'm doing is that I'm opening the file and I'm traversing the file as, as a list, but here I have a problem is that these files 
are too big. Like, for example, I think this one is 8 gigabytes and so on. So my computer doesn't have enough RAM to open all the file at once. Because here, for example, you can use the read lines uh, function and you can store all the information, all the lines of each file in one list. But that, that uses a lot of memory. So what I will do, I will open the files in binary mode and in that mode I can do fseek and so on because now for example here yeah I'm opening the file I'm not using that function that read lines function and what I'm doing is that yeah I'm going line by line not as a list like <laughs> the lines are not stored in the list and what I'm doing is that whenever I have to check if the operation is successful or not, I reopen the file and I start from the beginning until I get to the line I was. This is very bad and basically it took 14 hours to almost finish one of the files. So for example here I was trying to finish uh, this one and it is not finished. For example it did uh, 16 yeah, 17,000 lines, but it did it in 14 hours and it's not finished, like it has to do more. So, for example, this is an example of the output file that I want to use. And this is what I use. For example, I told you, you have here the, the attributes that I, that I showed you before, but we also have the other ones and we could also have more. So yeah, that's the idea. Have a lot of attributes so we can classify the operations in a good way. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you understood. And if so, give it a like, share, subscribe, and see you in the next one. Don't forget to go and check my website in which I talk about trading and cryptocurrencies and all that stuff for a very cheap price. Mm -hmm. Estoy bajando todo, lo siento, te quedas en no, pero este impuesto.